Hi, my name is Gerald Simon. I am the founder of Music Motivation and the creator of the Cool Songs Club. And I'd like to ask you a question. Can you really sound like a professional jazz musician only using five notes on the piano? And the answer is yes. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. If you are new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. It's youtube.com slash Gerald Simon. You can click on the bell below to be notified every week I come out with brand new piano fundamental videos. Emphasis on the word fun where I teach the practical application of music theory, where we apply the music theory we learn in a fun way. So right now, I'm going to teach you how to sound like a professional jazz musician using only five keys on the piano. Now, let me play what I'm going to teach you, and then I'll teach you how to do this as well. So it's not very difficult at all. We are only using five notes. In this case, we're using the C blues pentascale. C, E flat, F, F sharp, and G. Watch this. With my left hand, I'm repeating those notes over and over again. I have C, E flat, F, F sharp, G. I'm playing them as chorded notes. So in your mind, you can think one, two, three, four, and then we start over again. One, two, three, four. Watch this. Now, the right hand is playing the same exact notes. And the fingering for the right hand is one, two, three, four. Now, if we only stop at the G, and that's our five notes, then we would put the pinky down. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going up and I can go back down. Now, I included the B flat as an additional note. That completes the full C blues scale. So if I play C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, and then I add B flat on top, that is going to complete the full C blues scale. And then I can add the C as well, where I go up and down. Watch this. One, two, three, four, cross under, put your thumb on G. One, two, three, four, so C is one, two would be E flat, three would be F, fourth finger on F sharp, and then the thumb on G. Then you're going to put the third finger up on B flat. Now you can practice going up, you can practice going down. I would have you go all the way up and all the way down and just work on playing around with those notes. C, E flat, F, F sharp, G. Again, I said this was not going to be very difficult, and it's not. Now, if I want to keep going up, I'm going to put my thumb under and play C again, and play C, E flat, F, F sharp, G. And then go to the B flat, and then start again. Now, I can go up and down the piano using that same fingering. The right hand, that's all we're going to do. And you can play around, and sometimes I'll tell students, take those five notes and change the order and change the rhythm. But 
you're playing C, E flat, F, F sharp, G. Watch. If I think of it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm going to call out random numbers 1 through 5. Watch. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'm swinging the eighth notes where we have a long, short, long, short. When you have eighth notes, ordinarily it would be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so if I have that as my counting, then what I can think about is how can I change that where I have one and two and three and four and I'm swinging the eighth notes where I have a longer one followed by a shorter one. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Now my left hand is playing straight quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Try putting them together. If you notice, we have two eighth notes for every one quarter note with the left hand. Now don't get too bogged down by the theory, but what I want you to think about, we have a steady walking bass pattern with the left hand, and the right hand, I can just change the rhythm. Watch this. Now, I went down one octave, so I started on the G and then I went down again, but you can practice going up or down on the piano. Remember the fingering is one, two, three, four, cross under, one, one, two, three, four, cross under, one, and then three, and then cross under again, and repeat, one, two, three, four, one, three, one, two, three, four, one, three, one, two, three, four, one, three, four. Now, you can go faster, you can go slower. I would probably start slower and work your way up to get a little faster. But what I want you to practice doing is keep the steady left hand pattern we're playing chord notes. Now we add the eighth notes with the right hand. Now, it may be a little more challenging coming down with the right hand, but you need to practice going up and coming down. Again, the left hand is a steady quarter note. One, two, three, four. And the right hand, you have those eighth notes, but we're swinging them. One, and two, and three, and four, and, and that may be a good exercise to practice hitting your legs like that. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, but that's what we're doing. Now, I went all the way up and I went all the way down. If you noticed, with my left hand, I did change. I actually did C and then I went to F, but I did this F blues pentascale, which is F, A flat, B flat, B natural, C. Now I did it on G as well, where I have G, B flat, C, C sharp, D. To find any blues pentascale, all you need to do is play the minor triad. In this case, if I'm doing C, C minor would be C, E flat, G. The fourth finger is half a step below the pinky, and the third finger is half a step below the fourth finger. Try it on F, play an F minor chord, which is F, A flat, C. Fourth finger half a step below the pinky, which is C. Third finger half a step below the fourth finger, so fourth finger's on B, third finger would be on B flat. F, A flat, B flat, B natural, C. 
Try it on G. G, B flat, C, C sharp, D. So play a G minor chord. And then the fourth finger is half a step below the pinky. Third finger is half a step below the fourth finger. So my left hand pattern, I was following what is known as a, a blues progression. Sometimes they call it a 12 bar blues. 12 bars just means 12 measures. In this case, if you notice, I started on C and I played C. Well, that right there, that's two measures. I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's two measures of C. Then I did two more measures of C. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's a total of four measures right there. Then I went up to F and I did F for two measures. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I went back down to C. So we have four, and then we have two and two, so four, six, eight. And then I went up to G, and I did G. Then I did F. And then I went back down to C again. Watch me play this again. Now with my right hand, I'm going to play around different rhythms. I'm going to go up. I may even start to throw in some fun crush notes. But try to play around and see if you can work on doing something like this. So just some fun ideas, what you can do to play around. It, it really took a lot of self-control for me not to add additional notes because I wanted to be true to what we are learning and working on today. So I only played C, E flat, F, F sharp, and G with the left hand, and I played those notes plus the B flat with the right hand. Play around with this. Let me know if you have any questions. I create these videos, these piano fundamental videos for you. So if you have any ideas, suggestions, or if you're trying to figure out how to play something, please leave a comment below and let me know what you would like to learn. I create these videos for you. So thank you for watching. Again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is youtube.com slash Gerald Simon. I'd love to have you watch other videos that I've created and let me know what kind of videos you would like to have me create for you. Have a great time, have fun, play the piano and enjoy it. Create memories playing the piano and learning how to have fun. I refer to it as piano fundamentals. Thanks again for watching. See you guys. Bye.
As a special thank you for watching this video, I would love to have you download a free PDF that I created. It is titled, 20 Ways to Motivate Teen Piano Students to Want to Play the Piano the Fun Way. It's a 130-page PDF book that I created, and I'd love to have you download this book. If you need ideas on how to motivate teen piano students, or if you are a teen and you're looking for some fun ways to be motivated, please download this resource. If you go to coolsongsclub.com slash free book, you can download the free PDF. It's a great resource and it even includes 30 free cool songs that I've composed from my cool song series at coolsongsclub.com. I'd love to have you check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. See you.